Hi guys and welcome to today's video on perpetuities, continuing a further maths course uh, for you and hopefully you're enjoying it. If you haven't already watched the previous videos on this financial mathematics series, then please, please go back and have a look. They are all on mathsguru.com and on my YouTube channel. Now, it is really good to see you here. Thank you so much for dropping by if you haven't already done so and you are new. Can you do me a favour and over in the corner there is a red arrow pointing to a doohickey that effectively subscribes to my YouTube channel. Believe it or not, this is a fairly interesting setup that there's just me doing these videos. Now I love doing them and hopefully you are learning from them or will learn from this whole series to cover all of the courses over here in Australia and the world. Um, but uh, you subscribing is greatly appreciated to me. Far out! Okay here we go. Perpetuities. What on earth is a perpetuity? Well in the previous video we looked at annuities and um, I used to quoted the idea that the Australian pension scheme was an annuity where we put loads of money in and when we retire, the bank effectively pays us out. Um, and they keep paying us, and they give us little bits of interest. But the more we take, the less the interest, and eventually the money runs out. So for our financial calculator, we're effectively looking for our future value to be zero. So what on earth is a perpetuity? Well, actually, a perpetuity is very much like my pension I have in the United Kingdom. I've paid a load of money in, I get interest on that money, and the good thing is that when I get to retirement age, it pays out the same amount every single month and it never runs out. Well, until I sadly die. But hopefully that's not going to be for many, many, many years to come. So perpetuities never, ever run out. The money we put in and we invest stays there. And what we're really doing is we're living off the interest. Now that's actually quite important. Okay, so a perpetuity, we're living off the interest. Now, if we see uh, from what I'm going to hope to do for this lesson, basically know what a perpetuity is, understand the language of perpetuities, use our CAS to help yourself. And this is a CAS enabled course, which is great because our CAS has financial calculator stuff on it that'll do all this hard work for me. <laughs> know what V0 is, the rate of interest, and a regular payment. Now, this regular payment is effectively the money we're going to take out. Now we've built on the idea of reducing balance loans and interest only owns and now annuities and then we're going to deal with this. So as I say, what is a perpetuity? Well, hopefully that's what I studied. It is a, basically it's a bank account. The money you put in and the money that stays in that account is constant. It doesn't change. Your future value and your present value is exactly the same. The only thing you're going to do is live on the interest. And so I said, mm. <laughs> Barry, we're at it again, Barry, with this language, language, and language. So like we've done in previous video, let's look at the language you're using. Now, V0, and sadly, a lot of maths confuses people because of the language. So if you're allowed to have a summary book, for example, this is the stuff you put in your summary book. The calculations or the formulas, make sure you know which one to use and when, and hopefully none of this is going to be particularly complicated. So V0, that's the amount we're investing, the initial amount in our perpetuity. And as it turns out, our final amount in our perpetuity. Every bank account we ever go to, hopefully is gonna give us interest, right? That's the whole point of loaning the bank our money so that they can sort of use it for whatever they use it to, but give us a little bit of a thank you for us depositing with them. And that thank you is called interest. And this value of D is basically the money you're going to get each month or each year, depending on when the perpetuity pays out. And that's the important thing. Interest rates are given per annum, but generally speaking, perpetuities will work out per month. And so we need to make sure that when we're given this R, that we turn our rate of interest into a monthly interest rate, generally speaking, when we're doing pencil and paper working out. If you're going to use the calculator, and I'm going to show you how to use a calculator, that's brilliant. It's done. Don't worry about it. It does all the hard work for you. So let's have a look at some examples, because theoretically speaking, if we know the formula as we have here, it's D, which is our regular payment. Our interest payment is given by the rate of interest divided by 100 times V0. Bang it in your summary book and life goes on. So Elizabeth is investing her superannuation payment or payout of half a million dollars. Sounds a lot, doesn't it? Sadly, not really. No, don't press stop, not just yet, guys. This is a preview video and you've reached almost the end of it, but it does continue over on mathsguru.com. 
Masquero.com. Yep, that's my custom website. Bits of it you can see around me at the moment. That has been designed to allow the videos to be easier searched than they are on YouTube. So you can search by chapter, by textbook. Each video has downloadable notes for you, so you can put them in your summary book or your exercise book. There are exam questions and there is more and more content and more stuff coming as time allows. So head on over there, it's absolutely free to sign up and I'm doing everything I can to make sure that you guys enjoy maths and actually take out the mastery of maths. It is not as hard as you think, it is all smoke and mirrors. Okay, thanks very much, take care guys, I look forward to seeing you in another video. Stay safe.